It's night one here in the Okavango Delta in Botswana, and we're surrounded by what sounds like a large pride of lions. I can't tell where the noise is coming from. Crossbar right there. So if you need to, something starts coming, you can throw it, try to hit it in the head. And then if it keeps coming, we start stabbing with the spears. And then if it gets past that, we just gotta start poking for the eyes, jabbing for the neck, and, and trying to just stab right in the face. I don't think this fire alone is safe enough tomorrow. Get us some kind of security wall up. You know, like the local tribes people do make one of those local Boma, a Boma. Yeah. There's nothing that makes you feel so alive and awake as knowing that you're not at the top of the food chain. through night one, and we got to see firsthand just how dangerous the African bush can be after dark. My plan today is to fortify our camp to keep out the wildlife, then hunt down some food. But first, we gotta get hydrated. I had a horrible night. I've got massive headaches. I feel nauseous. I gotta get some water. Honey, pull this little battery tray out of there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's get these things out of here. This is the best thing that we got for oil and water. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this off, this little water reservoir from the radiator, the overfill. We're gonna use this to uh, fill up with water so we can keep water in the camp. This is what we'll hold the dirty water in before we boil it, and our plastic bottles will be where we store our safe drinking water. traipsing into the water. You guys sit here for a minute and look. Make sure that there's nothing out there. These things blend very, very well. We can walk up and start doing business, and next thing you know, they're snapping off a little head. This is really scary, really scary. In here, no joke, are two of Africa's biggest killers, the Nile crocodile and the hippo. So we really have to keep our eyes open when we're anywhere near this water. Hippos are extremely aggressive unpredictable and have no fear of humans. They can weigh over 8,000 pounds and they kill more people in Africa than any other animal. This is our water source. We just happen to share it with a bunch of hippos and crocs. Something just stirred over there and something just stirred over there. That's why you gotta be a little bit patient. You gotta give it a minute. Okay. You pull security while I try to get out there and get the cleanest bit of water I can to get started with. Doesn't matter if I go out there because you're better at security, you're better at stabbing things than me. You've killed more things than me. You're better at cleaning things than me, too. So you can clean these little water bottles up and then fill them up and then we'll all take them back. But see, there's something moving out over there, so stay vigilant. I mean, what's vigilant gonna do against a 9,000 pound hippopotamus with massive teeth? Crazy on me now. Step, stay back. Well, no, don't stay back. Sweetie, don't go any further then. It can lunge and I can lunge, okay? This water's clear. I mean, the Okavango is not polluted. There's no heavy industry upstream. There's no major agriculture. However, there's an awful lot of wildlife washing, drinking, pooing in this water. So the pathogen load's going to be really high. And that could make us really sick or even kill us, so we've got to boil it. You hear that? You see anything? If you look right there in the grass, you can see trails where the critter's been walking in and out of here. It's probably gator right there, crocodile. Realistically, this place is just like a combat environment. We're not in very deep water, and it may seem like we're being a little bit overcautious. 
but the bottom line is there are things out here that can come up and kill us any second, very quickly. That. That's a mess. There's a dead animal in there, and I think we should go back. We're not going to waste this opportunity. It's the first chance at real food we've had. We need to get in there really quick and get the heck out of Dodge. So just cut off a leg and let's go. A whole bloody leg.